spirit. Diba? Teach you all things. Sana yun. If you know to do something, it is the Holy Spirit who gave you how to do it. Who teach you how to do it. Yeah, I was wondering, in the Bible, there is a history. This guy invented the guitar, the trumpet, etc., etc. But when we read in the Bible, the angels also have the harp. And then, who who invented first? The angel or the the, the guy who the Bible history says? And then, I, I, we don't know. But it is the Holy Spirit who impressed everybody to invent. Yeah? So he, our crea creations are actually from the Holy Spirit. Imagine, if you write a research paper, it is the Holy Spirit who taught you how to write. Okay. Nevertheless, I will tell you the truth. For if I... Okay. That he shall speak, he shall show you things to come. Wow. He will, okay, the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth. He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, we shall speak. You see, the, even the Holy Spirit doesn't add anything. Doesn't modify the message. What is from God the Father, he just relays to us, to the prophets who wrote the Bible, to Ellen White, and also to us. Whatever he shall hear, he shall speak, and he will show you things to come. You know why it's called spirit of prophecy? Because it explains to us what is going to happen in the future. Galing, no? Holy Spirit, spirit of prophecy, bring you, uh, guide you into all truth. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. So Jesus left us. But if, not, I, if he did not go away, the comforter will not come. Of course, the Holy Spirit was here already. The Holy Spirit is God. It's everywhere. He was with Jesus. He was with John the Baptist. He was with all the other Bible writers. But uh, when Jesus says the Holy Spirit will come, it will come in bigger way. Yeah? Like in the Pentecost. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. <clears throat> I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. At that day, you shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Wow. We'll skip the song. Okay, so what happened? <clears throat> In the Pentecost, they gathered to wait for the promise. They humbled their hearts in repentance. They confessed their unbelief. <laughs> the disciples are funny. Three years they were walking with Jesus. They did not understood. They did not understand the gospel uh, story. So they confessed their unbelief. They recalled the words of Jesus regarding his. Uh, I, mean, I, uh, I don't know what is it. They repeated to one another the truths. The truths they remembered. They meditated upon Christ's holy life. They determined to share Jesus with the world. They prayed with intense in earnestness to lead sinners. You know what? There is a story. The dog found food. And then the dog went away. Where did the dog come? Where did, how come the dog left? Next day, the dog came with another dog. Oh, diba? When the dog finds food, he gets his friend, he comes back, and now that there are two dogs eating. That is not what we are should do. When we find salvation, forgiveness of our sins, we should look for other people because there are other people like us. People, right? Eh? We should be like uh, that dog <laughs> who looks for another dog to, to look because he found food. Okay. Pray in inter intense earnestness. <clears throat> Put away differences and came close together for fellowship. Sometimes we quarrel with each other. <laughs> I have many ministries. Sometimes we quarrel with each other. We are like disciples, you know. You know the disciples quarrel among each other. But when the persecution comes, no more quarreling. <laughs> because all of us are running. Yeah. Praise Jesus in song for sins forgiven. Contemplating, contemplated with wonder to the love of God. Okay. You know what? There is a guy named Jeremiah Lantier. He was in New York. He prayed with six people. And then the prayer group became 100. And then it became 50,000. Wow, grab it. By the way, these stories are in the book, Adventism's Greatest Need, The Outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And there were 10,000 week conversions. And the outreach went all over the world, the news about the layman's revival. There is another revival called the World Welsh Revival. In the, it started in 1902, Keswick Convention. Yan. Okay, same thing. They repented and they obeyed and they did not doubt and God used them. 
You know what? Repentance is very important here. Before the Holy, outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Ah, this one, Mike, is very nice story. According to Pastor, uh, the pastor who wrote the book I'm copying, I copied everything in the book. This Mike is very special guy. Sabi niya, when they have bayanihan, you know, bayanihan, ma'am, when you need help uh, cleaning the church or something, the man cut the grass. But Mike is like a very strong guy. He is vegan, he doesn't eat oil, sugar, etc. And he is like a carabao, like strong, you know. The men are tired after two hours, but Mike is still uh, cutting without eating until afternoon. He is very strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Visitation of members, he, is, uh, he likes to visit also, and he likes to... Uh, he takes God very, very seriously. 